Good evening and welcome to Aeris F1. We're joined with the F5 guys around Singapore. You've got myself, Shane 0407, who's streaming for you. And I'm joined by Vettel SF. How are you, Vettel? You alright? Yeah, I'm good. Should be a good race at Singapore. Yeah, we've had some, some good races this week. Yeah, the balance is a... Uh, this race is the best visually. I think the background and uh, the way the track looks is so much better than everything else in the game. But that's probably my bias coming through. <laughs> it's not the easiest of tracks to overtake on. We know that much. I had a poor race no, you, here. You can get a couple of poor. you can get a couple of moves done. Yeah, me and Skunk had a pretty good battle yesterday. Yeah, it's not the best of, best of races yesterday for Skunk, was it? No. Evening, Junior. I know he wasn't very happy about it. He spoke to me a bit after the race, so... Ah, the first man out. The man from Kent. Missed interviews this week as well. We haven't interviewed anyone, Vettel. Ah, have we not? No one with. Have you included your audio, Vettel? Uh, yes, I have. No one with Vettel Junior. Can you not hear him? Junior's predicting Tim and Ike for pole. Oh, he can hear. He says evening, Vettel. Sorry, what? He says evening battle. Oh, you've put it in the chat. Just ignore me. Most people do. Safest way. Where are we after Singapore? Russia. Russia. Good track, Russia. I like Russia. A lot of people don't like it. What do you think of Russia? Boring. See, a lot of people say that. I enjoy it, I do. You can't really make any overtakes for half of the track though. That's why I don't really uh, enjoy the track that much. Yeah, I enjoy it, I do. I put some good practice in for Russia I will, to be fair. Yeah, I don't really bother with practice anymore. <coughs> I don't practice as much as I did at the start of the season. It's, it's hard work sometimes when you're putting a lot of practice in then. Something goes wrong turn one and it's all your practice out the window. Mm. We have a yellow flag. Oh, it's uh, someone going slow. I believe Paul last night was a 34-4 from Skunk Burner, so for F5 I'm probably predicting a high 35. Maybe a mid thirty. Yeah, mid uh, high thirty-five sounds probably about right. Give <coughs> enough that. See if these get a full dry session. You had a bit of rain last night, didn't you? I think. Oh well, yeah. we bottled it. Where's he? How, how's he done that there? Sector two. I'm hoping his car's still there because I couldn't see it just. Oh yeah, wow! How's he ended up all the way out there? You see that then from Zombie Head's point of view? Yeah. I don't know how that happened. 38.7 from Alonso. This is probably one of the only tracks uh, where I don't set a lap for until about six minutes because the track just builds up so much speed over a session. Yeah, I made a mistake Sunday. 38-0 from Kuala. Oh, 
Oh, Zombie and Adam validates final corner. Massive cut. Not sure of the tour is behind him. Rebster, 38 0. And he probably lost time there with the um, Zombie head, to be fair. Yeah, but probably. Looks still already well out of the ERS. Next round there, the final corner will be Odd Guna. No, so I'm just with him now. Thirty-seven six. Is that, is that fish sticks? Yeah. Thirty-eight five from fish sticks. Cameron's invalidated. One. Where's that? Let's go for a laugh with Jay Locker, eh? <laughs> yeah. He's a lot of the right hand side of the track coming down into turn one. You can really cut that corner, didn't quite go enough onto it. Down into second gear. Tricky corner that for no traction, Vettel. Don't know if you run no traction coming out of there. I don't run any of them. I always lock up there. Oh, you all assess off? Even line off? Yeah. Right, so yeah. It's only Monaco, I can't do line. No line. I go back medium traction for Monaco, it's too bumpy for me. Yeah, it's not a fun track. It's, it's very frustrating, I think. I, I enjoy the track, I just can't do it on no traction. Eagle with a 37-2. Followed by Odguna with a 37-2. We're only going to lose a little from this session, but coming around there. Oh yeah. Do not lock and put in. Thirty-eight zero from Locker. Should keep him safe. Kazi Babe, Championship leader. Thirty-seven two. Uh. 37-4. RSF1 at Kachal Pez. Let's go Alpha Boys and J Locker. <laughs> I don't support any of them three drivers. Well, after Alpha Romeo's finished yesterday, I'm hoping they do have a good result. You've got a strong line up to be fair as Alpha. Ooh, 36 6 from Tim and Ike. Decent lap. Six tenths quicker than anyone else at the minute. Well, I'm sure Loud has been out on track. I wonder if he made a mistake somewhere for his time. He's on an out lap at the minute. I don't think anyone's on a lap. Uh, Cameron but is not. starting one now. Cosmic. How's stream quality for you, Val? Uh, stream perfectly fine. It's just been me on my laptop then. Really. No, on my phone it's okay. Purple set to one as Cameron. According to the Delta, but it's not always correct. The track map even. 
Yeah. Junior you can says Timon F1. Put him in F1 if you want, Junior. Put you in F5, you probably still wouldn't win. Ah, oh, Kaz uh, Cameron's at the ball. Yeah, I just saw that. Clipped it with his rear left, didn't he? Stream a bit blocky. Hmm, yeah, actually, uh... It's a bit flaky. Eagle. Yeah, it's in the pit. I'll knock it off on the laptop, see if it improves it any. Still three people without a time. Just on board with one of them now, we're orphan. Just in the final sector. Stream improved any battle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah quite a big visual improvement, I think. You will have to keep them. Um, keep interacting with them in the chat, mate, because they're not off. Ooh, very well there from orphan. We're going for another run. In the pits. I don't think he knows. I don't think he's. I don't think he decided. Took him a while. Zombie head. He's purple sector two. One hundred five zero zero two. Tim and I cuts in the pits. Oh, zombie heads invalidated. A few of the guys struggling a little bit. Laura's managed to put in a time there. He's up into P8 with a 38.4. Not sure when he put that in. I think he's had another go. Judging by his uh, Cosmic. 3RS. No, he's abandoned. Cosmic Cameron still managed a 38.5 even with the wall knock. Yeah, one lap old uh, softs are very, very poor compared to fresh ones. Is this right? Is it quite bad on tyres. Yeah, it's the temps. The temps are bad. Zombie heads having a cool down lap all from coming out the pits now. Button is on a lap. Can you send Cosmic Cameron and invite back, please, mate. Aye, uh, sure. Zombie had only P14. Say that again, mate, sorry. Uh, zombie had only went P14. Oh, I think that was a uh, cooldown. Yeah, it wasn't. It, it was, yeah, it was a cooldown. Button goes P8 with a 38-1. Let's see what Zombie had to go. The wall out of the tire in the pit.
Aris the Fun Junior says, let's go Kabuki, come on lad. Yeah, he's definitely in threat down there on a 40, you'll need to improve that. He's three seconds down. Tired in the pits. Who's three seconds down? Uh, no, yeah, sorry, up, oh, honest. Uh, zombie head. <laughs> Ow! Zombie, I can put himself safe. 39 2, we're still going to be in danger there. Kabuki's just starting a lap. Orphan is coming up towards the end of sector 2. So currently we're only losing one driver. Yeah. He's uh, Orphan's currently a full second down on, um, I think it was Tim and Ike, who did the 105002. He'll be nothing. through if it stays like that. It's not staying like that, he's lost time somewhere. Yeah. 412. Kabuki's uh, half two. a second. Second and a half down, Kabuki. He's going to yeah. be trying to get round for go again. Yeah, he's just turned everything down. And zombie heads on a cool down as well. Yeah, Orphan's uh, half a second down in the first sector. Yeah, he's, uh, he's struggling here. Uh, uh, yeah, this track spares the wheel quite a lot, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I'd have thought so. Normally, the street circuits like this, too. It's normally a strong track for me, but I was really poor on Sunday. Kabuki's invalidated. Orphan's three tenths down. He made a massive mistake in this sector, I believe, though. Who did Orphan did? Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, considerably he's, off, he's, I think. That's going to be tight now. Yeah, he's... Point four, he is, he's through. Oh. He's pushed Kabuki out, just. Man with the cash says, Eve lads, is that a tulip of the mighty Tim and Ike in P1, Q1, get in son. Alright then cash, calm down mate. Caught in you to F1 if you carry on. <laughs> what is tulip? Nobody knows, they won't tell anyone. I thought it was the only way is pink, but apparently it's not. Ah. Ah, oh, a play in the only way is Essex. Yeah, they, they're saying that isn't what it is. Um, obviously, all the, the Force India drivers know what it is, but nobody else seems to know. Well, mate, do you want to send Albon an invite? I'm, I'm curious how he ended up where he did. Sure thing. I'll chat with Albon while we move over. Right guys, so we only lose two two drivers from Q1. Unfortunately, missing out was Albon who had an instant. Hopefully, he'll be joining us in a second, and we'll find out how he ended up where he did. Um, Kabuki also just misses out P16. Orphan managed to just squeeze it on his very final lap. 
Um, so getting through to Q2, we've got Timonite, Koala, Odguna, Eagle, Kazzy Babe, Jay uh -huh. Walker, Rebstick, Button, Alonzo, Louder, Fistic, Cameron, Timmy. And um, two others. <laughs> Zombie Head and Orphan. Uh, Albon, can you include your audio for us, buddy? Yes, you do, mate, yeah. Um, go on, what were you going to say, Vettel? Yeah, uh, could Charles put the only way is pointless? Yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. That could show. I can I can go with that. They won't tell it what it is, so we'll make it up ourselves. I agree with that. The only way is pointless. Let's go, Albon. Um, I mean, unfortunately, you were the only guy to to DNF in Q1 in Singapore for F5. Um, I d I'm curious how you ended up so far. Down, down that slip side. What happened? I just lost control. Where? I how? Well, I don't. I don't understand how you ended up there. I don't either, to be honest. <laughs> Normally, if you lose it there a little bit, you catch the uh, the tire wall just on the inside of the next corner. Not end up end up down there Did, what have you done lost it early tried correct it and just ended up down there yeah um, <clears throat> tough race for you now mate obviously Singapore is not a track that's well known for its overtaking starting from the back of the grid what you're hoping for hopefully to make up some positions and just to keep out for barriers to be honest yeah I've been keeping it out of the barriers no penalties, late safety car. Could see you jump quite a few people, to be fair. So, you never know what the race holds. Have you had a think of your strategy? Not yet, no. I'm guessing staying away from the softs is a definite one, though. Yeah. So, alright, mate, no worries. Any questions for you, Val? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Uh, well, last night's race proves that where you really start doesn't really determine the outcome. So, you, you might be able to get back through the pack. So, are you pretty confident you'll get ahead of people at the start? Hopefully, yeah. What, what is your strat from the start? Because the, the reason I asked that is on Sunday I was... Similar position to yourself, I was towards the back and I was. I didn't end up doing it, but I was planning on going aggressive into turn one, picking up what places I could. Um, is that what you're thinking, aggressive into turn one to try and pick up some places with it being difficult to overtake, or are you just going to hand back and hope to pick hand up positions back. from. Hand back and yeah. hopefully just work my way through the order. Yeah, don't right, mate, good luck. You never know. Um, <laughs> bit of a crazy race, few safety cars, we could see you at the end. Yeah. So, go on, mate, I'll let you go and enjoy the rest of qualifying. Nice one for joining us, and good luck in the race. Thank you. See you. Try, mate, try. It's this man again, first man on track, Vettel. First man that's going to settle that, Mr. RSF1 Kentish. Alonso. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's been a while since I've pulled him Kentish, so... Yeah, watch this part of the... Uh... a good race and uh, complain. Apparently they've lost you, Shane. What, they've lost Camo's, my voice? Yeah, Camo's telling you to check Discord. Oh right, okay. No, no. He's he's referring to V. We haven't lost me. He's referring to VFR. We had an FA Cup game. Ah, right. Trying to get the penalty away, and we lost towards the end. Ah. Yeah, I don't mind a bit of pro clubs myself. Where'd you play? Hmm. Oh, I just play online with randoms. Uh, but my play in particular are, positions or yeah, midfielder. Mm. 
that's where all the action is. Thank you, Jamie, for bloody st We're stopped in midfield, though. We need a goalkeeper desperately. I don't think there's any need for that, Junior. What's he said? Uh, quite a bit of a... Uh, from profanity. From hard. Who towards? Uh, not directed to anyone. It's probably... Alpha. Well, As a that? general. Just tell me what's happening. Everyone can see the chat anyway. Except for me. No, he was sitting at the camera. It's because Man United aren't very Sorry? good. Sorry? It's about Camo and his uh, football song. Ah, right, okay. Because uh, Man United aren't very good. Um, I'm included. We're obviously very good. Most informed team in the Premiership before he finished. Fair enough. Who do you support of Vettel? AC Milan. Fair enough. Yeah, well, we're not Where doing are you from? So. Originally Germany. I moved to the UK quite a while ago. So just, just loads, of, loads of Germans in RSF1. Hmm. Mm, Alonso's left. Five on the mediums. Uh, do you want to get him an invite back, mate? Sure thing. Hope it's not the Kentish comments. <laughs> Thor, Thor messaged me today he's had um, a Dortmund strip. I don't remember what strip it was. Is it the black one? Yeah. Anniversary Dortmund jersey. And he's got his, his, his name and his number on the back. He likes number 13, doesn't he? Supposedly unlucky, that. See what Cassie Babe's got. P4. A 38-2 from Cassie. It's quite interesting to see that uh, people are setting similar times on the, the mediums to the softs. Yeah, I noticed that um, Monday night, F4, someone on F4, maybe Thomas P3 set a similar time. Soft to mediums. I don't think it's the, interesting. Do the mediums go off as fast as the softs because you can lose nearly eight percent with the softs over one lap. I think, especially if you're pushing pretty hard. Yeah. It's interesting. The only reason I can think these these hard yellow flag sector three, something going slow. Um, the only reason I can think with these hard runners is they're just putting some rubber down on the track later in the session on the mediums when it's rubbing in a bit more and perhaps be quicker in theory. Uh, yeah, I don't think the hards are actually a bad tyre. Especially race. They can go a really long time. Like a Duracell battery. <laughs> I do believe uh, Singapore's where the Giga Qubits and meme came from. If you've ever seen that. No. It's basically just a large Williams uh, plowing through the 2017 race. Okay. I like winding trailers up with um, Qubits. Hmm. We've talked about him compared to George Russell, and I say he's obviously better because he scored more more championship points than Russell did. He doesn't like it. No. Deserved point, I think, though. Although, I would have yeah, liked I mean, to have seen Kimmy score. Yeah. He was. Um, it's crazy to think that he was. 
best driver of the current generation really that we've got at the top when they were coming through better than Hamilton at the time yeah you know, uh, what his future could roll without his injury yeah he was lined up for a drive at Ferrari but that's probably a bad career move yeah it is these days mm. I think that's uh, three decent drivers in a row that they've uh, ruined now. I mean, personally, I think Vettel's career was already on the downward spiral. P5 uh, from Rab. Yeah, I'm not going to comment on that. Yeah, you're obviously, you're obviously a Vettel fan. I just don't think he's got the, the same hunger, fire that he once had. That, I mean, one of the dirtiest things I've ever seen him do, but it showed the sort of hunger and fire he got was... Um, was he hungry, maybe, him and Webber? Turkey. I can't think. Turkey. Or was it Malaysia? Get there eventually. Malaysia. It was Malaysia. Oh, what he did to Webber. Although I thought... Yeah, although I think it was disgusting. Um, at the same time, it showed the, the hunger and the fire that he got. I just don't think he's got. I just don't think he's got her anymore. No, no, that's what six years in a city's dominance does to people. Uh. And any time he's had a decent teammate um, since his early stages, they've beat him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sorry, mate. I know you're a Vettel fan, and we're on stream, and you, you probably swear thinks at me. he's the, the the fourth best driver in the grid, but obviously Hamilton on top. It's probably not even that high, to be honest, at the moment. I've not really rated him that high. Just that I don't really rate Rosberg. Yeah, a lot a lot of people talk about Rosberg. Um, Oh, second for Aguna on the mediums, 37.5. A lot Not of people talk about... The yeah, Orphan's purple in sector one. Um, a lot of people talk about it and say he was lucky with Hamilton's fails and whatever else, but you've got to be you've got to be up there to win it to take advantage of other people's faults. Camo was talking about rain in five minutes, but... At this track, you can't really see clouds, so you can't really predict no. the weather, do you? Come on, it's nothing but a wet wipe anyway. <laughs> I'm really not liking not being able to see the chat. Not used to this, but obviously my internet's having some issues. Junior says Leclerc over Max all day long. I think I think Charles Leclerc is the more mature driver in the way. It says rainy, it's rainy. Yeah, Calvin's prediction was nearly correct. Oh, we, we could be looking at some big drivers missing out here. Yeah. I think now is the last time they're going to get a shot. Fish sticks is a second and a half down and uh, up and is that. Could push zombie head out. Yeah, he's only an outlaw. in trouble. Cosmic Cameron must be sweating, you know. He sat in the pits, absolutely nothing he can do now. Yeah, Fish Sticks is going to get through. P6. Nice. Yeah, that pushes a uh, zombie head out. And I think the, the track is getting pretty wet now. Yeah, you can see it on the onboard. I don't think he'll be improving. Or any of the, the bottom five at the moment. J Lock is four tenths up in sector two. Alonso is invalidated, so he is probably out. Tim is on an out lap. 
orphans on a lap. Another fight to set to two, which is a slow moving car. I can't see if Joe Locker's up or not. I'm, he I was don't think... four tenths up, but he looks wetter in the final sector than anywhere else, so I wouldn't be shocked if he doesn't improve. Uh, Ooh, yeah, yeah just two. Not enough, though. That, so he'll be out. Zombie heads. He's, Alonso's uh, invalidated. He's up on his time. Well, down. Sorry. I find it really confusing sometimes when uh, you talk about them going up or down. So it sometimes means the opposite of what you're saying. Yeah. Tim is two tenths down in sector one. There's a car off track somewhere there. Didn't quite see who that was. Uh. Um, that, I don't think where the hell is. are they? It's showing me on the on the map that there's someone off track there, but they'd they'd have to be like, oh, they're on the, they're off track on the other side. <laughs> they're off track on the other side of the circuit, but it looked like they were off track there. I think it was fish sticks. They were actually off track where Timmer is now, down that runoff. Yeah, Tim is two seconds up on his lap. Two seconds up? Oh, down, sorry. I want the boy from background in the comms box, girl, child. What? Uh, Who said that? Gagulia My daughter is not doing comms. She's two. Ah, uh, apparently the stream quality is like watching Minecraft. So the quality is not good apparently. Oh, okay. I don't understand why. Alright. Oh, that's why I can't see. I don't have it full screen. Yeah, the quality isn't great. Yeah, my speeds are, my speeds are running low. I know. Just had a look. I'm running less than 20. I should be running over 40. Is it that bad? Yeah, apparently it is. It doesn't look too great. So, the drivers out are... RSF1 Orphan, Timmer, RSF1 Alonso, Zombie Head and Jay Locker. Okay. Do you want to get Timmer in? Have a, a quick... Um, chat with him. I'm just going to see if I can adjust something quick with me in the internet. And it is raining for Q3. I imagine it will stay the same. Or we might get full wets if it continues to carry on. That might explain why so many people are coming out. Yeah, the stream quality is a lot better now. You're better now, yeah. Yeah. 
don't know what's going on. I've just done a, done a speed test and I'm running it. I'm running it half than what I should be running it. Yeah, just as I say that, it's gone back down again. Uh, apparently running at a 720 bit rate will improve it. Right, right I'm going to stop the stream very quickly and just change some of the settings, bear with me.